Draft Stars Legends. So best night of the week, the Thursday night matchup here. We've got South v Penrith, which is going to be pretty fun. If you do want to play this this Thursday night, jump in the description, hit that sign up link, and get cranking on Draft Stars. We've got the outside backs. We'll kick it off with and Latrell's a little bit of a groin issue. Sounds like he's going to play, but just be a little bit worried if he actually kicks goals or not. That would be my only kind of qualm as to what he could do because he's not someone that's going to be running big meters. How's the explosiveness going to be? Is he just going to be passing a little bit more? There's a little bit of a worry, but with him, he's been scoring really, really high over the past three weeks. Obviously, 84 and 76 his last two, so a pretty important player, right? Guys like Dylan Edwards, he, he did get scratched late last week, and he's been super consistent. So maybe you go for Edwards instead of Latrell this week. If you do want to take the plunge and you have that extra cash, I know it's going to be hard to pick up someone like Latrell when you have Damien Cook, you have Cam Murray uh, as decent options there. So Dylan Edwards might be the play in this one. I, don't think, I think Johnson's going to be solid, but I don't think he's going to be out there being spectacular, to be honest. Looks like Taylor May will be back this week as well, so just be you know, be aware of that one. Campbell Graham is back as well, so averaging 41, obviously before he got injured there. Has a couple of uh, games with big, big scores. So with him looking to potentially be, at this stage, it looks like he's going to be back on the right, but we will only find out tonight with Isaiah Tass being playing on that left-hand side. So yeah, just interesting game here. There's a lot of decent, you know, a lot of interesting middles options, you know, 12, 13, 11,000 there. Uh, of guys that have averaged really well in the past and have been down a little bit since there. You know, you got Isaiah Tass, who's at 11,000 mark, which can get a 40 for you, which would be absolutely perfect if you could do that. So we'll move along to the halves and the hookers now. Damien Cook, obviously the clear best option. You've got Appy Coruscant and Sean O'Sullivan around that 18,000 mark who can get you a 50 plus. So if you're looking for something like that, if you want to go for you know the big guns in Murray and, and, and Latrell and stuff like that, then maybe you have to go for a cheaper play in Coruscant or Sullivan uh, or Cody Walker. But obviously Damien Cook's going to be your clear best option. We have Ilias in there. So he ended up Still scoring pretty well last week, so 44.9. I think he's a real solid one at 11,000, whether it's in the flex or it is in this starting halves and hookers. And you have Jamin Salmon, who has been scoring pretty well. Like, he didn't have much of a game last week, to be honest, and he still picked up 41. So you look at those four games there when he's spent majority of time at six, and he's come up really clutch there, getting 37.7 at his lowest when he's a 10,000 guy. So he's pretty important, I think, for your team. We move to the forwards. You've got two big dogs. You've got uh, Cam Murray and Isaiah Yo. So both those guys, just over two, uh, just over 20,000. When you can get those kind of scores from Murray, you know, 73 plus in his last three games, then 21,000 is, is probably lower than it should be. Isaiah Yo, obviously two, uh, 20,000 there. He's got two big efforts the last two. And if it's a closer game, he'll definitely be playing 80 minutes and getting a good score. You got some high numbers from Totola and also Kolomatangi, I think, Keon is, is the more uh, consistent and probably the better option. Totola has those big games when he scores tries, so I'd go for, I'd go for Keon before him. You got guys like Eisenhuth who potentially could get that big score again. Again, it's on off on off, and it's definitely due for the off week when he gets that twenty. Kikau is back and you know playing okay. Obviously, last week he, he returned and got the thirty five, so probably due for a bigger game. But can you be can you be sure of that one? Um, the Liam Martin one's interesting, ended up getting named after you know, causing an issue to his ankle. We've got guys like Leoda who's back and getting fairly consistent scores, a couple of mid 30s, so hopefully a 40 odd from him. And then down the line, you got Saluka Fafida averaging 25 in his last few, obviously since starting, but that's not, hasn't changed, him starting hasn't changed his scoring efforts. But anywho, that is the Draft Stars Thursday night roundup. I hope you have plenty of luck in this one. Get multiple teams in there, have plenty of fun and gamble responsibly. I'll catch you in the next few days, guys. See you later.